Hi there, Paul Noble here. Just tying up some trout flies with some feathers that I just recently procured because last week, as a lot of you know, was opening day for wild turkey. And I was lucky enough an hour and a half into opening day to get my first bird, which was about a 17 pound Jake. And then six days into the turkey season, we were out hunting again. And I once again was lucky enough to have a 22 and a half pound tom walk within range. So I filled both of my turkey tags and so my turkey season is done. So now I am getting ready for trout season. I'm using some of the feathers that were on the birds that I managed to shoot. Tail feathers, got quite a few tail feathers. And also the wing feathers, the flight feathers. They're just really cool looking. I was thinking you know, I could maybe use them. I got, got some paired feathers that you could maybe use as wings for hoppers or or on patterns such as muddlers or something like that. Might work out. What I also kept, which I've never kept before, are these ones, the breast feathers, which are kind of neat. They have an iridescence to them. It's like a yeah, bronze iridescence to them. Sort of like peacock curl. Peacock curl is green, but the iridescence is kind of the same. These are bronze. I don't know what I'm going to use them for, but I got a lot of them and uh, gonna going to use them on something because they're just too beautiful to throw away. So anyhow, what I'm tying up today are really, 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 really tiny turkey versions of the pheasant tail nymph. You probably won't be able to see that. <laughs> but um, it's a turkey tail nymph, not a pheasant tail nymph. Tied the same way basically. But the turkey tail has some really cool brown mottling in it. It also has quite a few uh, fibers on, on, on it that kind of give it a really nice texture. So I've been tying some of those up. Of course I just lost that one. I'll pick that up later. Also been tying the same pattern. However, again, really small. Um, but how these, these are still the turkey tail for the abdomen and for the thorax, but for the tail and the wing case and the legs on this nymph, I used the fibers off of the flight feathers. And it just gives it a little bit of a different look. Looks a little bit more like a stone fly. So anyhow, I'm gonna finish this beer, which is a, by the way, is a Storm State Noir. It's a nice Russian Imperial Stout, Storm State Noir. And as you know, one of my favorite local craft breweries. So I'm going to finish this up and we'll get into tying one of these gobbler tail nymphs. <laughs> The hook I'm using for this pattern is a Mustad 9671, in this case a size 12, just so it's easy for you to see. This is Euro thread in size 12. I'm using black here. Select a section of fibers from the wild turkey tail. The same fibers will be used to form both the tail and the body.
In this case, the ribbing is UTC wire, size small, in an olive color. Copper looks nice too. To form the abdomen, wrap the turkey fibers forward to where the thorax would begin. Tie off so that the tag ends stick straight up. Do not cut them off. Now wind the wire over the abdomen in open spirals. I like to finish my wire wraps in touching turns over the thorax area. This builds a bit of bulk and in my mind balances the weight of the fly a bit. Select another similar section of turkey tail feather fibers and tie them in to form the thorax. At this point, you can fold the tag ends of this section down and back. Trim to length, they'd form the legs. I'm going to use those snazzy breast feathers for legs, so I'll just trim these tags. On my nymphs, I like the legs a bit longer than what most tires would call standard. Once the legs are secured, grab the tag ends left over from your abdomen and fold them over the thorax to form the wing case. Cut the waist tag ends, whip finish, and your gobbler tail nymph is completed. If you got something out of this video, give it a like. Comments are appreciated also. And of course, please subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time.